guys, I feel like I need to address the elephant in the room. Some of you may not even realize there's an elephant in the room. Let's talk about it. Okay, genetics versus oral health. Are these two related? How much does one affect the other? And is there any correlation? Yes and no, less than you think. Here's the thing. I would get a lot of patients who would come in and automatically just say, my teeth are horrible, it runs in the family, it's genetic, sorry. And while this may be true, another thing that often just so happens to run in the family is bad oral care and dental hygiene. So I actually end up finding out that they either don't floss or floss very rarely, or when I have them show me how they brush their teeth, it's just a very bad technique. So more often than not, what people think is genetics is actually a generational lack of awareness of how to take care of their teeth. Now, that being said, absolutely genetics does play a role. Sometimes I have patients who come in and have horrible oral care. I mean, they don't floss, they brush twice a week or something atrocious like that, and their teeth are okay. And then I have some people who come in and are super diligent and meticulous with their home care, but their mouth is a train wreck. Okay, maybe not so bad, but not so great. But this is a much smaller percentage of the population. Usually your oral health correlates pretty consistently with your oral hygiene routine, as well as diet and lifestyle. Now, I feel like I'm gonna be getting questions about this, so I'm just gonna address this right away. A couple of reasons for bad teeth, despite great oral home care, include developmental conditions of teeth, like enamel hypoplasia, basically when your teeth, while you were a fetus, didn't develop properly and the enamel is super brittle. Also also autoimmune conditions, all of those chronic inflammatory diseases and conditions can really adversely affect your oral health. Then there's radiation or chemotherapy that tends to, again, wipe out your immune system. Or if there's radiation that happened near your face, it can actually cause the saliva glands to kind of dry up so you don't have as much saliva flow going on, which has a direct impact on things like cavities and periodontal disease or the plaque and tartar buildup. And then another thing is genetics. I'm saying it in a very lowercase way because usually when I throw out the word genetics, people oftentimes just kind of chalk it all up to genetics and don't even bother trying to take care of their teeth because they're like, oh, well, it's genetics. I give up. By the way, if you guys are finding this video helpful so far, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Anyway, my point is genetics loads the gun, but lifestyle pulls the trigger. This is not my quote. Comment below if you guys know who said this. But anyway, take my teeth for example. As a kid, I used to get a lot of cavities, like a lot. Luckily, most of them were on my baby teeth and just a few of my permanent teeth got scathed. Scathed? Unscathed is a word, so scathed must be a word. Anyway, some of my permanent teeth got cavities, but not a lot. By then, I developed a healthy OCD habit and was very meticulous with my home care. Also, as an adult, I noticed that I build up plaque and it turns into tartar very quickly. But it does not have a chance to build up and cause damage because I take care of my teeth and brush and floss on a daily basis. Now, you may also be asking, well, how do you know your plaque and tartar builds up very quickly if it never has a chance to build up? I've done experiments on my teeth before where I wouldn't brush for a whole week or something like that. I speak the truth. So anyway, the point is genetics are not really on my side. So I can't skip brushing or flossing for really any period of time because it would very quickly start affecting my oral health. But my daily oral care routine and my healthy lifestyle and diet choices prevent that from happening. All right, guys, comment your questions or concerns below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Otherwise, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Take care of your teeth.